You're going to be the guy sitting on standby like, oh, get ready to throw up the fucking drone. So, here we are today talking about the medic. And this is the last of my Wildlands Tips class reviews, aside from the recruit, which I will be bringing tomorrow. And I was hoping we'd go out on a high note, but that doesn't appear to be the case. I don't like the medic. I'm going to get that right out of there. I don't I don't like it. I don't see the fucking point uh, most of the time. So I think the best way to address this class, starting right off the bat, and, and something that I probably should have done that I will be doing for my revisited series, is that we need to do a pro-con type thing right at the beginning with this one. Um, because there are some good things, there are some bad things, and we need to see which one outweighs the other. I'm going to start with the bad things, because uh, those really, really piss me off. Um, that is, his weapons suck. I think it's the P416, I think is the, the first one, and then the submachine gun is the Bison. They both suck ass. They're terrible. Uh, I noticed with the P416, it's a complete fucking pea shooter. It doesn't kill anybody. It's so inaccurate once you get to, like... A little bit farther away once you get to like 50 to no i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot this up to like 70 plus meters good luck hitting anything really doesn't make any fucking sense oh my god it's so inaccurate it does no fucking damage jesus the bison don't like it um it just it has such a small range it does decent damage if you can get them up close, but otherwise it does not fit into the to the medic's play style because the medic is a very defensive character mostly because you're going to want to be using that drone from a distance. That, that There's a reason you can revive from a drone. It's so that you can fly across the map real quick and re fucking revive people. You're not going to be reviving somebody right next to you. You're not going to be on the front line, so the submachine gun really doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't. So... Con, weak ass weapons. Pro. Now, well, those that's the biggest cons, but we're gonna some of the more there. Are, it does have more negative things about them, but they kind of tie in with the pros. So, pro. Good revive ability. You can revive people from across the map with the, with the drone, right? Um, that's good. That's 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 awesome. But that in itself comes with. A con as well because you can revive people from a distance most of the time that I've found those people either have the person that killed them is camping there or they have a mine on their body so I think it's about a 50 50 chance once you revive somebody they're gonna die instantly um, because there's either a mine there and then then you have the cooldown on your drone right you can uh, equip that perk that gives you that extra you know that gives you the, the uh, decreased cooldown time on your drone uh, might be recommended, you know, if you are running medic class. But the drone, that's all it's really used for is just reviving people. And if your team doesn't die, like I like what happened to me a few times, it was really hard to get gameplay with this because my team was hardly dying. And I, I had no opportunity to use it. Or if they died, we were in a position to go and revive them and, um, physically. And, the, and the, the, the place to revive them it was actually more beneficial to go and revive them myself than to revive them with a drone. It really doesn't make any fucking sense. You know, we have an assault class who can see the, the mines or something pop up. You can shoot those with a suppressed pistol. You can get the revive easy. Or if someone's camping there, we already know where they're at. So if we have those assault classes, we can just go around and we can take them out as well. And then revive our guy. That's just, it's a... It's a the medic drone, I feel like, is such you have to have such a certain circumstance to use it. Um, either you know someone, one of your guys just died way across the map, or someone died in a hot zone where you can't go and revive them. But if they died in a hot zone, the, the chances that they're gonna live and get out of it are are slim, depending on how your team's made up, depending on where they're at, and if they're all the way across the map. Why the fuck are they there? If it was an assassin or a pathfinder that you had flanking or something and they get killed um, before they killed anybody, they weren't doing their job correctly. And if you do go and revive them, 
The other team already knows where they're at. They've already been startled once. They've probably already placed a mine there or something. You know, if you are a Pathfinder, very few people actually run Pathfinder in a, in a squad, I find. Um, then, you know, the mine's not really going to work, but whatever. So those are the biggest things that I find. I mean, do the, do the pros outweigh the cons? The cons are weak-ass weapons. You cannot kill shit. I have so many clips of me trying to get fucking kills, and I can't. I just can't. It's so hard because the guns are suck. They suck ass. And I find that the medic's drone is used in such specific circumstances that it does not really warrant being used consistently. When you're playing with this class, you're basically going to be down a man because you cannot count on that medic to kill shit. You get lucky if you kill things. Honestly, I'm going to be straight up with you. Going into a match, let's say you're going up against, uh, let's just say a point man straight up. Let's say it's you against a point man. The only way you're going to win that fight is if they're at 50% or less health. That's it. It doesn't matter what gun you have. It doesn't matter how many bullets you hit. If they hit all their shots, you hit all their shots, you might win if they have less than 50% health. What I feel would really make this class um, viable, would make this class an option, let's say, hey, we're going to run this every single time, is the ability to heal teammates from your drone. I don't think that they should be able to refill them to full health, but maybe like 30%, 40% or something like that. I think that would make this class incredibly viable so you just come up to you know one of your wounded allies and then click r3 um and you'll pass along some health and pass like a bandage or something that gives them 30 to 40 percent health I, th I think that would make this class viable right now i think it's incredibly frustrating especially for my specific play style i how i like to play is i like to play from a medium to sort of long range game. I like to play in cover. I don't like to move. I like to find hot spots and kind of sit there and wait for people. I like to gather intel and then make to, um, active decisions based on that intel. But with the medic, you're basically in a responsive state. You are responding to what the enemy team does. I don't like that. If you like that sort of play style where you like waiting for the enemy to make a play first, but keep in mind, you're not going to be the one to say, okay, we just saw them move on this flank. Let's go over there and let's try to match them. Remember, you're going to be the guy, like, when your teammates go to match them, you're going to be the guy sitting on standby, like, oh, get ready to throw up the fucking drone. Um, you know, that's the guy you're going to be playing. And the cooldown on it sucks. It doesn't have any recon ability. You cannot send that thing up. If you send it up to try to gather intel, you're just kind of being stupid because... Then if someone dies or, or a couple people die right after that, right after you use your drone, you can no longer revive them. You have to wait till that cooldown time's done. So I think to make the class viable, it needs to be able to refill health. As I see it right now, it's not something that you should run in, in a squad consistently. Um, the specific circumstances to use the drone are, are too... They are too specific. They're too specific, very situational. And I feel that in a lot of circumstances, it is better to go get the physical revive than to use your drone to go revive. That's how I feel about it. Um, the play style with the class, like I said, is very defensive. It's basically you're in a responsive state, um, almost like the scout. You're going to be playing like the scout, except the scout has a much more active role because it can spot people. You can go meet people. You have a decent you have decent enough weapons to go and meet people with a scout. Um, even the artillery has decent enough weapons. I just feel like the medic, I feel like the P416 is the one of the weakest. I believe it's an assault rifle, but I, I think it's the weakest assault rifle in the game. That's me. Um, I just I don't see any other weapon being worse than it. The bison really hate that one too, just because the range sucks. Um, and I do not like the side on it either. But if anything, I think this game is really lacking in a strong support um, role. Because right now, what do, what, do you, what do you have in support? You have, in the support class, right, you have the scout, artillery, diversionist, and the medic. I think they're all weak in, in some ways. Artillery and scout are probably the strongest. Out of the two of them but definitely for the medic 
Out of all the classes that you unlock at level 35, Medic is by far the worst. So if you guys have any more input on this, if you could please open my eyes to the Medic, please do that down in the comment section below. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. And if you do like the video, please drop me a like. It really does help me out. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow I will be bringing the recruit. That's going to be more of a uh, fun video. But honestly, I think the recruit is not the worst class in the game. I think there's other contenders for that title. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.